Today's lesson is on artichokes, how to judge them and give reasons for them. If you've never given reasons for them, this is a difficult vegetable uh, to kind of crack. Uh, but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down to some simple terms and, uh, and hopefully you'll be able to uh, see some of the unique features about this very unique vegetable. Before we begin our judging, I'd like to just go over some quick uh, general information about artichokes. First of all, it's part of the thistle family, like bull thistle or milk thistle. Uh, obviously, it has little barbs or thorns on it. And we're re actually eating the flower buds. Those uh, kind of like leaf looking things on it actually are bracts or scales, but you can still call them leaves, but actually they're not. So we're eating up obviously the, the ends, kind of the pithy part of uh, each of the scales. Second of all, it is, is if you kind of get through all of the scales, we come down to the base of the flower, which is uh, essentially the receptacle. We like to call it the heart, uh, probably the, one of the best part of the, um, the artichoke. 99% of all the artichokes uh, in, in our nation, the United States of America, is uh, raised here in California. Uh, worldwide, actually, Italy is the largest producer of, of thistle by far. Who was the very first Castroville artichoke queen? You know? Well, at the end of the video today, I'll reveal it to you. So let's move on. When you're judging, you're looking for a variety of different things. First of all, we're looking at the trim. We're looking primarily at the stem and, of course, the, the head of the, the artichoke, the flower bud. Shouldn't be any longer than nine inches. Typically, the stem itself should be a, a nice, smooth, clean cut, two and a half to three inches. Then when we take a look at the shape, um, it shouldn't be very long or very pointed. Um, it should kind of come to a, a, a point, but not like a cone, per se. Then when we get to freshness, it's really not dealt with much when we're actually doing a U.S. number one or U.S. number two or grading. Uh, however, it should be fairly clean of any environmental defects or any uh, shipping or mechanical uh, damage defects. Should be compact. What I mean by that is the scales should be close to each other, not slightly opening up but for the most part. It, it should be kind of dense. Uh, it looks kind of heavy. The scales themselves... Uh, should be a, of a normal green color with not a lot of brown or black spots. Shouldn't be split or frayed. When we see it start to look at, as the scales spread apart, when they start to spread apart, they're getting more mature. It's getting older, so we'd like to have it a little bit more compact. Color is, is another feature that we look for. A nice green, healthy color. Um, if we see a little purple, we probably are, are seeing artichokes that have some extremely cold weather on them. And then the stems, as I said before, two and a half to three inches is what we're looking for. We don't want to see a real pithy or hollow. Let's move on to the visual inspection portion of this video. You'll be viewing four different samples of artichoke. You are to rate them from the best to the worst. You should be jotting down all the characteristics that you see in each of these plates. Keep it in mind that you're going to rate them from one to four. When you've done that, go ahead and hit the pause button. That'll give you an opportunity to write down your reasons and your placing. When you're ready, go ahead and restart the video and listen to the critique.
Well, how'd you score it? Well, I scored it. Four, one, two, three. Sir, I place this class of artichoke in the order of four, one, two, three. In first place today, I put sample number four. It was properly trimmed, well formed, free from mechanical as well as insect damage. The condition was very compact, dense, uniform buds. When we get to our second place, sample number one was a well formed, uh, slightly pointed um, scales. It was slightly blemished and overall the condition was good. However, it was slightly compact, scales had some splits and was starting to spread. Is also ununiform uh, in some of the sizes and shape. When we get to number three, I put sample number two. There were some slight condition issues, such as it was fairly compact, it was reasonably firm, but slightly spreading. As far as the quality end of things, it was cone shaped, scales are scored, and also um, it was starting to brown, which usually indicates that it's starting to get a little old. And in last place, I put sample number three. It was in poor condition primarily because of the discoloration of the scales. They were spreading, the tips were cracked and feathered, suggesting it may have experienced some near freezing condition. For these reasons, I put this class of artichokes in the order of four, one, two, and three. Well, there you have it. Four, one, two, three, with the cuts of two, four, and five. If you're kind of keeping score, it's all out of 50 points. And if you switch four and one, uh, in the top plate, if you switch those, that would be two points off. If you switch the middle to two, one and two, there would be a deduction of four. And if you switched two and three, that would be a, a five-point deduction. As has been my custom to kind of sign off as I try to share with you a, a daily quote. This one's by Mike Murdoch. The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. You know, I like to tell my, my students, uh, we perform as we practice. The things that we do in practice eventually will come out in a performance. Another way to put it is habits train us, good or bad. You choose the kind of habits that you're going to have, good ones or bad ones, because at some point in time, they're going to come out to help you or tear you down somewhere during the process. So I hope this has helped you. And oh, I almost forgot, who was the 1947 Castroville Artichoke Queen? Well. If you looked at the, the, the paper, it said Norma Jean. Norma Jean? Who's that? Well, she later became Marilyn Monroe. That wraps up another video. I hope that has helped you, and we'll see you at the next contest. Thanks. Bye. It's kind of an unusual vegetable because we're actually eating Blah, 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 blah. But it's kind of like I'm trying to get back at it too. The uh, the thistle family is not one of my most favorite plants, but being able to consume them it gives me a little like I'm I'm getting something back. So it's kind of getting back at them. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's